Psycho is a film that needs no introduction whatsoever. I mean, it's one of the greatest slasher movies ever made. And you know what? If you don't compare it to the masterpiece that is Psycho, even Psycho 2 is pretty good. 3 and 4 can go to hell, but 1 and 2? Solid stuff. A and E even managed to take a single movie like Psycho and using great writing, very charismatic actors, and some modern liberties with the license, turned it into one of the most underrated television shows I can think of in recent memory. Seriously, if you haven't given the modern day Bates Motel show a watch, do so. But while the modern day Bates Motel series has come and gone, many people may not realize that that wasn't the first time they tried. Way back in 1987, a made for TV movie was released on basic cable and this is that movie, for better or worse, mostly worse. So in this version of Bates Motel, which completely ignores Psycho 2, a random little boy named Alex, who decided it was a good idea to push his dad into a laundry machine, happens to be staying at the same mental hospital that Norman has been put in. Ignoring the fact that Norman is a psychopath that killed his mother and a bunch of other people, the doctor decides, fuck it, let's toss this kid in with Norman and see if they become buddies. Well, they do become buddies. They even call Norman the dad that Alex never had. Creepy. But Norman dies, leaving the Bates Motel to grown-up, socially awkward Alex, played by Bud Court. Yep, that's actually what they went with. Which is primed for all kinds of wacky, slapsticky humor. Oh my god, it's Big Bird! Yeah, I don't know what the hell kind of tone they were going for with this thing, but when I think of Psycho, the last thing that comes to mind is Lori Petty dressed up in a giant chicken suit. What the hell? Hitchcock would be rolling in his grave if he saw this shit. Anyway, after Alex moves into the hotel and takes out a loan, we get to bear witness to all kinds of exciting things like construction, funerals, Lori being a pain in the ass, and Alex fixing up the Bates Motel, completely transforming it from the iconic design it has in Psycho into a damned cabana resort looking piece of crap. During construction, they find the buried corpse of Norman's mother, which, wait a sec, at the end of Psycho, spoilers if you're one person who hasn't seen it, at the end of the movie, they find Dear Sweet Mother sitting in a chair in the basement, and then right after that, Norman is caught. So you're telling me Norman somehow magically was able to escape jail in the mental hospital to come back here and bury his mom? Come on, if you're gonna leech off the damn psycho name, at least get your continuity right, you piece of ass. Oh, and this isn't a slasher movie like you'd expect from something birthed out of the psycho family. No, this is a spoopy ghost story. Alex keeps seeing figures, windows slam shut on their own, stuff like that. At one point, a random woman comes to the hotel to commit suicide, but shortly after, a huge group of youngsters that look like they stepped right out of the 50s, including a young Jason Bateman, yeah, no joke, show up and try to befriend her. Guess why? Because all these teens killed themselves in the past and are trying to save her life. That's... Uh, that's so unspeakably stupid that I haven't even got words. They didn't even end their lives at the motel, for Christ's sake, they did it all over the country. What, so the ghosts all just happened to convene on the motel at that one convenient moment? <coughs> Thank God this version of Bates Motel was not greenlit as the TV show they were trying to make, because it's just a piss-poor attempt at making a Ghost of the Week type of show with Psycho as its diving board. None of the characters are interesting in the slightest, and it's incredibly dull. I'm talking watching dog shit dry in the sun doll. This is a disgrace to the psycho name and legacy left behind by Hitchcock, and he's even more pointless in its existence than Gus Van Sant's shot-for-shot -shot remake where Vince Vaughn, of all people, was Norman Bates. Nobody ever said life was easy. Then nothing really worth it ever is. But you know, I think with a little luck, we're gonna do okay here. I think Norman would have liked that. <laughs> By the way, if you ever need a room, come on by. Can't say for sure what you'll find, but that is what makes a world of it.